Hi everybody, it's Mark Shelshir. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. I'm going to follow a little up a little bit on yesterday where I talked about storytelling and how I felt the need that artists should write some stories or even put big titles on their paintings. Uh, all of which I think is legitimate. Now, but every time I talk about storytelling, I always get somebody who says to me, Hey Mark, I'm an artist, I'm not a writer. Well, look, I want to talk about locking ourselves inside a creative box. Too many people lock themselves down as one thing. Hey, I get that you're an artist and I get that's your major passion. And I get that you want to put everything you can into your art, but you're also a creative. You're also somebody who has the ability to do many other things in the creative fields. And I'm asking you to reach out and do something by writing. Now, we get too locked in. Sometimes we get to the point where we don't want to consider that we could do other things. But I remember when I was practicing an artist, I not only painted, I did sculpture, I did carving, I worked in paper mache, I worked in printing, uh, making uh, you know prints using um, woodblock and so forth. All these different things and wrote. Why? Because I felt that we need to express ourselves as much as we can in many areas. So you can do that. If you want to write a blog, write one. If you want to write poetry, write poetry. You can still paint and your painting is still your major passion, but you can add poetry to your painting. I remember there was one lady in the States who was doing that. She, she would paint a painting and then write a small poem about it. You know, really touching. It really does something. It makes you stand out a bit further from the rest of the field. All this is important. Okay, nobody is stopping you from being more creative but yourself. It's the story we tell ourselves. The story we say is, you know, I'm, I'm an artist, therefore I'm not an author. Well, what about if we get rid of the labels? What if we take all the labels away and just say, I'm a creative? and I paint, and I write, and I do all these other things. You see, we live in a day and age, my friends, when nobody can stop us from doing these things. If you want to make a song, write a song, and, and have like a, a video of you singing, you can do it today, and you can put it out on YouTube, and millions of people can see it. You can do it on Facebook. Today, we live in an age where we are free to be as creative as we want. The things that hold us back are the story we tell ourselves and the fear as well. These things stop us. So what I want you artists to think about is stop putting labels on yourself and start to allow your other creative juices to work as well. Man, there's so much you can do. So much, you know, we talk about price points often in what we do, but what about product points as well? I think it's Seth Godin says that instead of trying to find new customers for our products, what if we try and find more products for our customers? And for the creative, that's a fantastic thing because we can look at doing other things. We can look at doing sculptures. We can look at doing carvings. We can look at doing cards. We can look at do, you know, a thousand things to give us other products to offer to our customers at different price points. All these things you're capable of doing because you're a creative. The things that stops us from doing it often is the story we tell ourselves and the fear. Those are the two things that we stop us because we still think that there's gatekeepers out there. We still think that there's a school teacher out there. We still think there's someone with a scorecard and there's not. They're all gone. You and I are able to do whatever we want to do creatively and nothing can stop us. You want to write a book? It's easy to write a book. Write a book uh, and then put it out as an ebook, just like I did. And you'll find out if people want to read it or not. It's easy. And if people want to read it, that's fantastic. Uh, do another one. If you find that people don't want to read it, that's okay too. Do another one until you find the, the the place where people will buy or look at it and read it. You know, it's, give yourself permission. This is the day of permission. You have permission to do whatever you want creatively and nobody will stop you. So, you know, be creative with your writing. People say to me, oh, well, Mark, it's easy for you. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to write. You know how to talk? Then write down what you say. 
That's the simple thing. That's all I do. I sit down and write the way I talk. I, I don't sit down and try and write some big, meaningful, heavy, you know, wonderful piece of work. I just write the way I talk. And if, if you've been watching me a long time, you'll know that. I don't try and put any pretensions on. You can do this. This is not difficult. Right. You want to sing, sing. You want to make poetry, make poetry. The hardest part about all of this is doing it. That's the hard part. The being creative is the easy part. You know, you want to write a poem? Write a poem and then post it. You want to write a novel? Write a novel. Post it. You want to write a blog? Write a blog. Post it. You know, the, the posting becomes the tough part too. Want to make a video? Make a video. You know, these things are all free for you and I to do. What stops us is the story we tell ourselves. What story do you tell yourself? What's the story in your head? Is your, head, is your story that you're a painter and that's all you do? You can't be a, a potter, you can't be a sculptor, you can't be someone who makes uh, lino prints, you, you can't do any other things? Of course you can. You just got to give yourself permission. You just got to allow yourself to do these things. You're a creator first. You're a creative person. Of course you can write. Of course you can sing. Of course you can do all these things. Of course. Why? Because we know we can and we can do it. The limitations are put on ourselves. I don't see anybody stop us from doing anything. We want to make a video, make a video. No one can stop you. Hey, people might look at it to start with, but that's okay too. It's not about how many likes you get. It's not about how many shares you get. It's about that you did it. Do you see that people? It's not about, you know, wow, look at that, I got 500 likes or I got 5,000 shares or 3,000 people viewed my video. It's not about that. And you can never make it about a scorecard. It's all about the act of giving out to people. Every time you paint a painting, you're giving to people. Every time you write a poem, you're giving something. It's about giving out to others. It's about being a blessing to others with your creativity. So why hold back? If you've always wanted to write, write. If you always wanted to write poetry, write a poem. If you always wanted to, to sing, sing. I mean, just do it. Don't let this box and we always do this, it's just human nature in many respects. We always try and lock ourselves down into a box and then stick a label on top and make sure that label stays there. Hey, we're not about labels anymore, guys. We're about creativity. We're about being creatives who paint and can write and can sculpt and can do lino prints and can sew bags and can make things, can make beautiful soft sculptures. We can make beautiful uh, paper mache sculptures. I used to love making paper mache sculptures. You know, all these things we can do because we're creative. Don't lock yourself in a box. I say write a story about your painting. Please, write a story about your painting. Make a long um, title for your painting. All these things you can do. There's no rules. No one says you can't. Where does it say in the rule book that artists can't write books? Where does it say in the rule book that sculptors can't paint paintings? Where does it say in the rule books that, that people who make soft sculptures can't go out and paint a painting? All these kind of things. There's no rules. They're gone. The rules you put on are the rules you put on yourself. The limitations we have are the limitations we make on ourselves because nobody's stopping you. There's no one to stop you anymore. You want to make a video? Put it on YouTube. It's free. Put it on Facebook. It's free. You want to write a blog? Put it on Facebook. It's free. Put it on Blogspot. It's free. Put it on WordPress. It's free. You want to write a book? Easy. Write a book and then download it on a... How do we do it again? We download it. There's a, there's a, a site. I've forgotten the site. I'll have to find it for you all. You can download it under there. Put it on an ebook. Get a landing page. Bang. Done. Give away your ebook. You can do this. It's not hard. And it's seeing it as giving of your creative self to the world. That's what's important, guys. It's about doing all these things because it's giving of your creative self. And it's setting other products within your business that you can use and you can sell and you can be a blessing to many. Okay, I hope that gets through. I, I, it saddens me when I see artists who lock themselves into one thing when they're incredibly creative and they could do so much more and bring so much more joy and happiness to the world. 
they can make their calling expand and reach many other people. Don't limit yourself, my friends. Give more. Let that creative expression come out. If you always wanted to write a poem, write them. If you always wanted to write a blog, write it. If you always wanted to make a video, make it. You can. You have permission. You give yourself permission now. That's all you have to do. And do it. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit. I hope that encourages you guys who hold back a little. And I hope you decide, hey, I'm going to give myself permission and go and do it. Because I'd love to see some more blogs, more writing, more things, extra things, doing other sculptures, everything. Be creative with what you got. It's a gift. You've got a calling. Make sure you use it properly. Give out of it and bless the world. Okay, you guys have a great day. Um, it's a holiday here in the Philippines. So we get two days holiday, so I'm in the gallery. Um, it's going to be a wonderful day. Remember to reach out and touch people. If people are hurting. Smiles and hugs are free. Give them away generously. And I look forward to visiting your studio. Hopefully one day in the not too far future. Okay, have a great day. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.